Welcome back Spartans and today we are going to be doing a farming to max now we're working on our cannons I'm just getting some spells built up and changing my base because I'm gonna log off for the night and you're gonna see this in the morning or actually mid-afternoon on Wednesday but we are going to actually redesign this base real quick just because we need to protect the dark elixir now you guys probably didn't know this but I had the dark right by the town hall where that gold storage is I just switched them because I'm going to bed and I want to actually make it hard as hell to get that Dark Elixir. Because I'm about to spend all this gold on this cannon right here. And we're going to buy it right now. Awesome. Now we're broke on gold. Pretty awesome. Now what we're going to do is actually move this cannon to the other side of the base. And flip the level 13 cannons I already have onto the side that's the Dark Elixir. Just so I can protect it better. Because that Dark Elixir is very vulnerable. And needs to be guarded as heavily as possible since they can win 3,000 just by taking it. And that would be bad since I'm trying to upgrade my heroes. Now, you guys are going to have two awesome, awesome raids to watch in a second here. Don't worry about it. Jump into it. Um, we have one that's farming Dark Elixir and one is farming a massive, massive amount of loot. And we're using our archers, as you can tell. So let me go ahead and pull those raids up for you, and we'll get started. All right, we're here, and as you can see, I am attacking this guy. He's got 800k loot. What's up? That's a lot of loot to steal, guys. Let's see how we do it. Now, I'm going to throw it on four times speed because I really kind of played around with this base and made sure I used as few archers as possible to clear the outside. And now we start going heavy, dropping our last 197 archers we had left. As you can see, just streaming them around the outside of this base real heavily. Uh, saving about 40 of them just in case we need to like bulk up in any areas. As you can see, bulking up right here in the bottom on the right. And then on each of these little... Basically, like, I guess the X mark across the base. I'm kind of hitting those sides real hard. Um, as you can see, though, we have about 24 archers left in our clan castle. We didn't bring our heroes, so it's going to be a rough one. Uh, just making sure we get as much, much loot as possible here. That's all we're hunting. And, of course, I think we're actually going to lose this one. Damn. That's rough. I did not expect to lose this, unfortunately, uh, which does suck. I am pushing, but not really a big deal. I was really, really hungry to get as much uh, gold as possible because this is actually the raid that got me the 7.7 .7 million gold. That allowed me to actually upgrade that cannon. And I was really desperate when I was going to bed just to take any loot I could, whether I won or not. Just because, obviously, I didn't want to sit with 7.7 .7 million gold and get robbed for 400k instantly when I logged off. Now, I did actually drop those lightning. I think I could get some percentage points. Wondering how close I'd get to 50%. I was hoping to get at least 45%, but didn't get there. 400,000 gold one though. About 400,000 elixir. Pretty awesome. Minus 26 trophies kind of sucks. But let's move on and hunt some dark elixir, guys. I know how much you guys love that dark. And here we go. 4,100 dark. And as you can see, we have the dark elixir storage in the bottom corner of this base. Along with two mines. Can you make it any easier? Like, come on. Seriously, make it a struggle for me at least, right? This is so simple to steal. Um, now, we do have that one Dark Elixir mine up top, so I'm going for that right away. As you can see, just dropping down some archers, taking out those skelly traps and bombs, and now working my way in to kill that Dark Elixir storage, which is good news. I'm sorry, not storage, mine. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to make sure we steal it, and then we will move on to taking out percentages of the base by tossing archers all around the outside and going a little heavy on the cannons, obviously. Not too heavy, though, because it does have Inferno Towers on multi-target right behind it, which we don't want to have to deal with along with the Wizard Towers. So just trying to pick off those buildings without losing too many archers. And now we are going for the Dark Elixir Storage. You can see we dropped our clan castle. It had, it looks like, three balloons in it and some archers. And my king and queen right here in the bottom corner along with a bunch more archers. And they are doing a decent job. The king is going down in health, so I'm going to rage him. And he is going to help get through this wall as fast as possible. I don't know what his barbarians are doing, guys. Don't ask me. They're being stupid. They're really wasting their time here. Hopefully, kill that archer tower at least. But we do get all the dark elixir right there with that queen. And we have the 52%. Now, I'm going to let the queen play it out and see how much we can get here. Um, I'm going to have to use her invisibility, it looks like, real soon. Just because she's getting hit by a lot of stuff. So, here it is. Invis. Kill the archer. 56%. Going for the gold. She wants it all, guys. 57. And can she get it? Nope. She's not going to get it, guys. All right. Pretty solid win though, 160,000 gold, 100,000 elixir, but that 4,100 dark elixir is what we wanted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, stay tuned for more, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.